Welcome sa Zipline.com. Uh, in this video, ay tutuloy natin yung ating series on how to solve motion problems. No? And uh, dito sa series na to, ay uh, meron tayong uh, problem where uh, two cars are traveling toward each other. No? So, basahin natin. A car leaves city A and travel toward city B at an average speed of 60 km per hour. And at the same time, car, another car leaves B or city B and travels towards city A at an average speed of 70 km per hour. If the two cars use the same route and if the distance between two cities is 520 km, how many hours before they meet? So gumawa na ako ng diagram dito no, para, ano, para makasave ng time. No? And um, this is city A no, where car 1 is traveling towards uh, city B. No? And this is city B. Ang car 1 naman natin is, uh, ang car 2 natin, sorry, this is car 2. Ang car 2 is traveling uh, towards city, uh, city A. So, since they are using the same route, somewhere here, magmimit sila, di ba? And the distance traveled by uh, car B or car 1, sorry, sorry, the distance traveled by car 2, no? itong line na to, is a bit longer than the distance traveled by car 1 dahil mas mabilis siya, di ba? And makikita natin yung distance traveled by car 1 plus the distance traveled by car 2 is actually the distance between city A and city B. No? So, yan yung mga facts na dapat uh, makikita natin ano, sa pag-analyze dito sa problem na to. No? So, pwede natin tignan yung distance. Distance of the two cars, no? traveled after say 1 hour no 1 hour 2 hours 3 hours 4 hours 5 hours okay hanggang 5 hours lang muna tayo tingnan natin kung mag-extend tayo mamaya car 1 and then car 2 so, sabi natin, 60 km per hour yung car 1. So, after 1 hour, 60, 60 km na yung travel niya, di ba? And yung car 2, after 1 hour, dahil 70 km per hour siya, 70 km na. After 2 hours, magdadagdag tayo ng 60 ulit dun sa car 1. So, magiging 120 na siya. After 3 hours, magiging 180 na siya. Dagdag lang tayo na dagdag ng 60 kasi 60 km per hour nga araw eh. And then after 4 hours, 240. After 5 hours, 300. No? And of course, dun sa car 2, dagdag din tayo ng 70 kasi 70 per hour. So this is 140. This is 210. This is 280. And this is 350. So, mag-add tayo, no? I-add natin distance na ng the travel ng dalawang cars. So this is 130. This is 260. This is 390, this is 0, this is 12, 520, and this is 650. So yung hinahanap natin yung 520, di ba? Kasi 520 yung distance nung between city A and city B. So therefore, yung sagot natin sa problem na to is 4 hours. Ito yung pinakasagot natin, no? 4 hours kasi na travel niya is 520, which is equal to the, the distance, no? a distance in kilometers between two cities. So, nasagot na natin yung problem, no? And, um, using table, pwede rin natin sagutin yung mga ibang motion problems. So, kung hindi nyo na paano papanood yung mga previous videos natin, pwede yung tignan yung mga uh, videos ng part 1 up to part 4, no? Kasi doon, makikita nyo rin na pwede rin natin siya isolve by table. Ang second solution natin is pwede natin gamitan ng algebra, no? And again, pag ginamitan natin ng algebra, um, distance, rate, and time. Ang titignan din natin, ano, nung dalawang cars. So, pwede tayo gumawa ng table ulit. Ng distance, rate, at saka time, no, nung dalawang cars. Okay, so car 1. 
and then car 2, no? So, ang rate, ang pinakamadali makita is yung rate or yung speed, no? Which is uh, 60 kilometers per hour dun sa car 1, and then um, 70 kilometers per hour dun sa car 2, no? Sa time naman, pareho sila ng time, ano? Dahil uh, same time sila nag umalis dun sa dalawang cities, ano? So, whatever the time of uh, traveled by uh, car, one, same din yung time na na-travel ng car 2, no? So, kung dalawang oras na siyang uh, nagta-travel, dalawang oras na rin yung, yung isang car na nagta-travel, no? Pareho silang dalawa. So, if I let this X, no? The other should also be X, no? Well, pareho lang naman sila. And again, since distance equals rate times time, no? So, distance is rate. The distance of car 1 is rate times time. 60 times X or 60 X. And the distance traveled by car 2 is 70 times X or 70 X. So, meron na tayong table, no? And uh, from here, dun sa kanina solution natin, sabi natin distance covered or traveled. Distance traveled by car 1. Paiksiin na lang natin, ano? Distance of car 1 plus the distance of car 2 or distance traveled by car 2 should be equal to 520, no? Kasi hinahanap natin yung meeting point, Eli. So, but the distance traveled of car 1 is 60x. No? Plus, distance traveled of car 2 is 70x. Which is equal to 520. No? So, pwede natin i-combine. Magiging 130x equals 520. And x equals... 520 over 130, which is x equals 4, no? Ito yung pinakasagot natin. X natin time in hours, di ba? Although hindi natin sinispecify, but uh, of course, hours yung unit dito, so 4 hours, which is the same as our answer here, no? So algebra and uh, table, para yung sagot natin, ibig sabihin tama yung sagot natin. Okay, so meron, uh, sana meron kayo natutunan sa video na to. No? Uh, maraming salamat and uh, see you in the next tutorial.